and it is the profit after tax figure which partly gets distributed by way of dividend and partly gets transferred to your reserves. Tell me what are the shareholders more interested in? Shareholder is interested in the fact that the company where he invests his money should have a positive PAT. If the company declares dividend, he is happy and very often if the company does not give dividend and transfer it to reserves, he is very often happier because when the money goes to reserves, what is known as the net worth of the shareholder goes up. When the net worth goes up, the book value of the share goes up. When the book value of the share goes up, the market value of the share goes up and the appreciation in the stock market price is very often much more than what you would have got by way of dividend. In any case, a company would normally have a Now, everybody believes that the profit is in the product and profit is in marketing. If production and sales generate profits, then why should two companies which are producing the same, selling the same, why should they earn differently? I gave you an example saying it's a public limited company, it need not be. It could be your proprietary concern. Lots of people make this massive blunder of thinking owner's money is free. They don't attribute a cost to their money. Owner's money is not free, but in fact, it is the most expensive money available. The earlier you recognize the fact, the better. As it is, I told you, borrowed money at 15% is substantially cheap compared to owner's money at 30%. But now I'm telling you this 15% doesn't cost you 15%. 15% effectively costs you 9%. 60% of 15%. Because 40% is the sacrifice made by the government. Every time you pay 100 rupees as interest or any tax deductible cost, your profit goes down by 60, the government's income tax goes down by 40. If your income tax rate was 50, then this 15% would have cost you 7.5%. If your income tax was higher, your out of pocket cost for anything that is tax deductible would be still lower. When there is a disproportionate impact on profitability due to a certain increase in turnover, this phenomena is called leverage effect. Leverage is a term given to a disproportionate increase in profits due to a certain increase in turnover. What causes leverages? Can you create leverages? If there are two of you having offices next door to each other and both of you are manufacturing the same product and selling the same quantity and both of you work equally hard and manage to increase your turnover from 100 to 200, but chances are one of your profits will go up from 20 to 60, but the other person's profit would have gone up from 20 to 100. Whose shoes would you like to be in? How would you rate this company as a risk category company, high risk? If this company comes and tells you, listen, supply me this huge quantity of material, but give me six months credit. Will you sleep for any of those six months? If this company comes and tells you, you know, you're retiring from whatever you are doing, all your life savings, put it in my company as fixed deposit. You don't know whether it will come back. Because a slight recession in the market and this company would be the first one to fold up. But if this company does well, while it does well, its profits will be enormous. If this company says, buy my shares, will you buy its shares? A shares is a different ball game.